What's going on everybody? Today is January 5th, 2021. It's a pretty cold day out here in Indiana, but no snow, no rain on the forecast, and we're getting a Brother Speedio S1000 delivered. So it's gonna be a pretty awesome day. Here's what we got. We got this truck rented for the day. It's 12,000 pound with long forks. Can't beat the price. This thing delivered and picked up and rented for a day is like $490, I think it was. Way cheaper than paying a rigger. That would have been thousands of dollars. Um, and here's what we did to the garage last night to get this thing in. We've done this in the past on this door. It's gonna go in front of this one, so we just did the same thing. Tore off all the sheet metal, the wood that goes around the door, the gutter, and of course all this sheet metal was held on by pole barn nails so that's really fun to pull these out but we got it out and that gives us an extra about six inches up to this header and hopefully it'll fit under there if it won't then we are in trouble i think it will though may have to take a little bit off of the the machine there's a top cap we're probably gonna take off so here we go man all ready to go i'm gonna have the the driver that has the machine on it just gonna have him park at the road and we'll drive the fork truck down the driveway and pick it off them off the truck so just waiting on him to get here should be a couple hours
All right, thanks for following along. We got it set in place. We got power, we got air. Tomorrow the install guys are coming. They're gonna finish the install. Overall, I'm super impressed with the machine, how compact it is, considering they were able to cram a thousand millimeters of X travel and 500 and Y in this little package is just insane. Uh, if you're curious, we had an 87 inch garage door opening and we were able to get it in here. We did that by removing a couple bolts so we could lay that cable carrier flat. That made that black servo motor the highest point in the machine. And I'm pretty sure that servo motor sticks up 84 inches. So if you got an 84 inch door, this thing should come in there. But you'll also have to remove off this uh, top cap box thing. It's just part of the roof. Uh, it covers the tools when you do a tool change and they, they fly up in there. Uh, but like I said, I'm super impressed with this thing. The fit and finish is awesome. Casting looks great. I love the control, it's super simple. And uh, I can't wait to start cutting some titanium, making some knives. But until then, thanks for watching. I appreciate the, the support. And please like and subscribe to this video. Share it if you would, because I need some help on YouTube. So thanks and uh, have a great day.